Hello and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool, colorful Tetris wallpaper, just like this one, which, with this really cool text effect I have right here. Um, I think this is a very cool wallpaper, um, if I say so myself. And I'll get on to the tutorial now. Obviously, you want to open up a new document. Um, you want it to be the size of your screen resolution. In my case, it's 1024 by 768 pixels. I'm going to name it Tetris Wallpaper. Okay. Now we want to go to Filter, Render, Fibers. Make sure that your presets are switched, so white's the foreground and black's the background. And we want one pretty even, so let's keep randomizing it until they're pretty even black and white. That looks good. Press OK. Now we want to go to Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic. I like my cell size at 25 squares. That's my personal preference. Obviously, you can make it bigger or smaller, but I believe 25 squares it looks the best. Press OK. I'll go to filter brush strokes accented edges or accented edges I don't know once we have that open we want to um, make sure that our edge width is at 2 our edge brightness is at 38 and our smoothness is at 5 press ok you can see here that makes it more of a cell as it was before and it makes it look more Tetris -y, so to speak now I want to go to our layers panel. We want to make a new layer. We want to go to a gradient. We want our rainbow gradient in linear. And we, as we drag out this gradient horizontally, we want to hold down shift. So it stays a straight line. That looks good. We want to go to our blending options and we want to go to overlay. Right now it's pretty overwhelming, so we want to turn the opacity down to about 50. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to go to our text tool. Obviously you can stop here if you want no text. Um, but the text tool, this is just our last finishing touch. I'm just going to type in hippo text. My font is Free Turbulence. I'll have a link to this font in the description. We're going to go to our selection tool, Control A. We're going to align it to the center, making sure our text tool is our text layer selected. Thought I misspelled it. I'll fix that. Okay, we're going to realign that now. Okay, Control D to deselect. Now we're going to go back to our layer, layers panel. We're going to double click on our text layer. Brings up the layer styles. I'm going to bring this down. We want to click drop shadow and inner shadow. We want our drop shadow at 50% opacity. We want our inner shadow at 25%. So our drop shadow is at 50% and our inner shadow is at 25%. Press OK. We want to turn this opacity down of the text itself to about I would say 75 right there so that's our finished product um, as you can see it turned out very nice uh, thanks for watching tune in next time for some more Photoshop tutorials just like this one and bye